Hello and welcome to this week's Tree Law TV, which is dealing with tree root subsidence. Now that we are in June and we've had some hot, dry weather, it always makes us think about whether this is going to be a subsidence summer. It really feels like summer 2022 is loading. What properties are at risk of suffering from tree root subsidence though? What characteristics need to be in place? Well, first of all, you need to have a property, of course. A uh, property built on a shrinkable clay soil next to a tree. And the critical part is that the roots from that tree need to be encroaching underneath the foundations of the property. What then happens is in the summer months when the tree is in full leaf and is thirsty for water so that it can grow and transpire from its leaves to keep cool, it extracts moisture from the clay soil underneath the foundations of the property and in doing that the clay soil shrinks in volume. As the clay shrinks in volume, it causes a downwards movement of the property foundations that are built on that clay, and that downwards movement can lead to cracking. The cracking tends to occur around points of weakness in the property, whether that is around doorways or windows. So in this example, there's some cracking around a window in one of the, um, probably in the front bay of the property. After summer comes winter. Uh, winter weather tends to be wetter, it is colder, uh, leaves aren't in full leaf, they're not growing so much, they're not as thirsty for water. So what that means for the soils underneath the foundations of the property is that they retain their moisture, they're rehydrated from the wet weather and they swell in size. As they swell, that causes the foundations of the property to be pushed upwards. As that happens, the crack damage can actually recover and close completely. In this picture, we can see there is no more cracking around the snowy window. So we have downwards movement in the summer with cracking and then upwards movement in the winter and a reduction in the cracking. What needs to happen then to have the homeowners jump in for joy because their subsidence claim is all fixed and their house is living in harmony next to the tree. Well, stay tuned for future episodes to find out more.